Hey, beautiful. Hey, handsome. How is it going? Um, if you aren't familiar with me, I'm Carly Myers. I am the founder of A Piece of Positivity Studios. And what I do is I help women um, who are unhappy at work get their mojo back and make adulting fun. And we'll add a few brave men in there. Um, so this morning, while I'm making, I'm making some breakfast, um, my favorite new breakfast dish, which is uh, sweet potatoes, onions, and eggs. It's very simple. Um, I wanted to talk to you about, you know, this idea of accepting compliments. Um, I feel like in our society, most people aren't allowed. They feel like they're not allowed to accept compliments growing up. And then now we are basically trained into saying, oh my gosh, I can never accept compliments. Oh, it feels weird to accept compliments. It just feels wrong. It feels all of these things. It makes us feel all sorts of awkward, right? Um, and so I wanted to, you know, come to you guys today with something to think about um, while I'm cooking breakfast and, um, and for the rest of the day. And this is this concept of how, why, well, let me ask you this. Why aren't you accepting compliments? Why aren't we accepting compliments? Um, hey, Angela. And what is the reason for that? What, is, what has been our upbringing? What has been our past? What has been society's past? All of, this, all of these things that are going to pile up to make us who we are. Um, think about that. But also think about how can I begin to get to a place where I'm comfortable accepting compliments. When someone tells you um, you're really smart or you did a really great job, and instead of self-deprecating, then accept the compliment with grace. Um, and so, you know, I just had, I had this happen to me the other day and I had someone say, no, this is an awkward compliment. Okay. Someone told me I was wise and they like legitimately mean, meant it. They were like, Carly, you're so wise. And I'm like, oh God, uh, uh, uh. And so my response was, oh, you should see me in front of a taco bar. <laughs> Completely ridiculous response. Not a thank you. Not a like, oh, you're so kind. No, you should see me in front of a taco bar. Like that is when I'm my least wise. Um, and so I was like, oh my gosh, this, I could have accepted this compliment with so much more grace. And I know that a lot of other people will respond that way when someone tells you that you're beautiful or that you're incredibly intelligent or, you know, you knocked it out of the, uh, out of the park, right? And your immediate res response is to say something really horrible about yourself. Like, oh, but I have really bad breath. So, <laughs> right. And so I think the first step in really determining, like really being able to accept compliments and to be okay with being something great and something beautiful or something intelligent or whatever it is that they're complimenting you on, is to start practicing complimenting yourself. So I know that a lot of us, we have this internal voice inside of us that's constantly telling us that we aren't those things. You're not beautiful, you're not smart, you're not intelligent, you're not wise, you're not this, you're not that. And really what it boils down to is an exercise of saying, holy crap, I am smart. I am smart and not even holy crap before it because now we know it. It's a compliment. It's, it is an, a part of our essence. So, you know, that's the challenge for today is to say, you know, I'm going to accept my own compliments. I'm not going to self-deprecate before it even leaves my mouth. Before the compliment comes from someone else, it should come from me um, and really be your own biggest fan. So start trying that, that cycle. And if you hear yourself saying like, oh, I'm not good enough, I'm not this enough, I'm not that enough, then I would say five, four, three, two, one, do the countdown and then give yourself a compliment and accept it. Um, accept it with grace, accept it with as much ease as you can possibly do. And that will get you to a space where when a compliment comes your way out in the out, you know, outside world, exterior world, external world, then you'll be able to accept it with more grace and ease and it'll feel good to have a compliment. It'll feel good to succeed. I think that's something that we constantly are struggling with ourselves, you know, is we go for our goals, right? We go for it. We're so excited. We're excited about our goal. We're excited about our goal. We reach our goal. Oh my gosh, it's an anti-climax. Now what? I feel like the same thing happens with our compliments. We want the compliment. We want this. We want that. We want that. And then the compliment comes and we're like, oh, shit, get away. This is scary. This is, I don't want this attention. Right? And so really practicing the, the doing the practice of accepting your own compliments, giving yourself self-love and really falling in love with yourself and believing that a lot of these things are true will definitely help. But 
Um, that's, you know, that's what I wanted to share. I apologize. My attention is split between breakfast and you guys. I always love giving you my undivided attention. Um, but I do want to formally invite you guys to an event, a couple events that I'm doing um, over the next two months, two, three months. Um, I'm sure some of you guys are familiar with my Feeling Salty workshop. It is absolutely a amazingly fun workshop. Um, it's stream of consciousness writing um, and a moving meditation that has never been taught anywhere else. Um, you get to play in a box of salt. You get to meet a bunch of new friends. Um, literally, strangers walk into this room and leave really good friends um, because that's the type of environment that I'm creating, um, a really safe and fun space. Um, but I would love to see you guys at one of them. I've got a couple of them coming up. A couple of them are actually Free, like completely free, which um, is amazing um, due to the generosity of a couple of my vendors uh, who just wanted you guys to be able to get in the room and get in the space and be able to work with me absolutely free. So um, apopstudios.eventbrite.com is going to shoot you to all of my upcoming Feeling Salty events, and I think there's um, a lecture that I'm doing that's on there as well. So I would love to see you guys there. Click over to that link. Grab yourself a, a spot because there's only 20 spots in each of them. And I think that there's only three, four feeling salties, um, three of which are in Philly. So if you're in the Philly area, that's not that many opportunities because these are free. They're going to go quick. Um, and then I, I really hope to see you there. And if you're looking for something more personal, you're looking for a deeper connection, um, you've got some things coming up, you feel like your adulting sucks and you just want some guidance and direction, um, this would definitely be the time to reach out to me shoot me a Facebook message, comment. If this resonated with you, yes, share it out, share it. I always want to see, you know, I always want to make sure that these videos are getting to the people that need them. So make sure you share, but shoot me a message, comment, um, you know, go to my website, scroll the way down, schedule a time. We've got the opportunity. I've got the space that I want to hold for you. So, um, Anyway, I gotta go. I love you guys. I love, love, love you guys. And I will see you around on Facebook Live.